Welcome back, everybody, to Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. I'm Brosentia, and we are on to the last game of the weekend. I hope you all have had fun. Now, we do have a Don't Make Us Board coming up on Tuesday, so make sure check your calendars, see if that's something that you want to watch. Uh, we've got that at 7 p.m. Eastern, and of course, we always want submissions. If you want to come and play exclamation point DMUB in Twitch or Discord, we'll get you the link to see all the past games as well as the sign-up sheet if you want to come and play. I love to have both new and old players alike. Meekin had played on there before, and it was a lot of fun. Heck, Shrambles had as well. Show off what you're playing. Yeah. Mooware, yes, submit. Everybody submit. You know what, Crappy, submit to me. Submit. Crappy, you're gonna submit? Oh, nope, he's gonna go bowling. Okay. Whoa, look at that reveal that I just did. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 Tristan. Tristan, come on in. Hi, Tristan, how you doing? You boned it. <laughs> Whoa, how you doing? Oh my gosh, you're a GM and everything. <sighs> Look, I had this wind up and everything ready, but oh, okay. No, let's do it, like, let's the, do the it. The game's out to lunch there, are you happy? Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> game's out to lunch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done that. It had to happen at least once during this tournament. Hey, everybody. It's fine. I've lost my brain by this point. I think we all have. You can, you can <laughs> still do your spiel if you want. I'll give it to you. Yeah, I... Uh, so... Way back in Kuso 2... Um... My history with Kuso Grande, I saw the finale of Kuso 1. I signed up for Kuso 2. And then I ended up a GM in Kuso 3 onward. But the very first match I ever played in Kuso Grande... Was out to lunch. Uh, and I just yeah. woke up today and said I want to see it again. Yeah, let me just tell you, I'm not a fan of this game, but it yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, it was against matter. you. Wait, the, I raced it, right? Yeah, it yeah. was uh, my first match ever, and it was against you, and Author Blues was commentating it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, the memories. Yeah, uh, I, I'm i pretty sure I came in last during that match, and... Uh, I was like, never again, never going out to lunch again. But I'm hungry now. I'm hungry for blood. Yeah, you were you were talking during the last match about people making you hungry, and I'm just like, this isn't going to help. Honestly, I'm not sure the food in this game is very appetizing. It's sure you can call it food. You can call a lot of things food that aren't food. Uh, but yeah, the players are going to have a full hour to try to play through out to lunch, you know, and uh, make as much progress as they can. Whoever does, of course, takes the victory. Whoever doesn't will only get two points. And in general, at this point in the tournament, that's not enough to stay in. We are eliminating people left and right. And actually, do you know what the stakes are? Huh, the stakes, huh. Pretty sure the stakes are in the game. Uh, no, I, I never do. I... <laughs> <laughs> that sounded Let's like see. EA propaganda. The stakes are in the game. Uh. Yeah. Uh, this is a 22-point match, so that means only the first place has a chance, I think? Uh, second place will be going to the tiebreaker, if so, if uh, we do have a tiebreaker. So there is hope for two players, and two players get to enjoy freedom forever until the next Cusa Grande. If they sign up if they sign up. They have the opportunity for freedom forever. <laughs> yeah. Will they be smart and take the freedom? Will they have to deal with not having freedom ever again? I don't know. It's up to them. It's not for me to decide. But, you know, it's too late for everybody who already signed up for today's match because they are streaming and they are getting ready to go. We've got Camellia Teacup. Mifa, Salmon Buffalo, and the Lupine one all... Uh, they're not out for lunch, they're out for blood. And maybe a little lunch on the side. I want lunch. 
Oh, so do I. Hey, everybody, welcome to Cusa Grande, where I have to resize windows because somebody changed everything on me at the last second. Uh, where <laughs> I usually don't have lunch during matches because I am too busy to do that. And then I complain about it because I'm hungry. Tristan! I want food! Yeah, so do I. Oh no, I, uh... now Princess Tomato and Salad Kingdom is playing. Stop with all this food stuff! There's food everywhere. There's no hope. Only food. Oh, never mind. We've got this music. If anything's gonna be make me not hungry, it's nausea. And uh, that might do it for this game. Actually, then again, I'm one of the weird people who, like, when I get nauseous and then I eat, I'm usually better. Like, if I get motion sickness, best way to help me out. Give me some food, baby. Let me see if the players are ready to roll. Uh, or ready to hop, ready to bounce, ready to deal with the physics in this game. Because... I remember how difficult this is to play. It is definitely uh, wobbly. It's it, it's it looks pretty good, but controlling it is a nightmare for a couple of reasons we'll get into once we're rolling. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of our referees, though, there's um there's level warps. Uh, there are certain criteria for completing certain stages that will open a second door that lets you skip multiple stages forward. Uh, for the sake of not confusing our referees, I've forbidden using those. So this is an all stages race. Good. Well, we're doing the countdown right now, everybody. Spam all of your food emails because I can't stop you. Okay, food, food, food. Lunch or chefs. Those are pretty much your two options here. <laughs> Food and chefs. Foods and chefs. As soon as I see movement in Switzerland, I will start our timer. That's right, we're going to Switzerland first. Widely known for chefs. Yeah. I love that it has an intro screen and then a second intro screen. And then you get to play. The game's weird in a lot of ways. Um... So the core conceit of what you're seeing here is you are Chef Pierre and your food has become sapient and run away. Uh, sentient? One or the other. The sapient doesn't doesn't that mean that it's like human like? I mean, this has a very human like face, this cheese that Sam and Buffalo is chasing around. Sure. I do not. Did it have a face on it? It does have a face on it. Yeah, so do cows. Those aren't sapiens. Oh, whatever. So <laughs> what you need to do, you need to find a net in each stage and then go capture the food and return it to a cage. And there's a number on the top left that says how many foods, how many you know individual food units you have to return. And once it hits zero, a door will open somewhere on the stage and you have a time limit on the top right that is your main function of death. Uh, <laughs> there will be a lot of timeouts in this race. Um, if you take too long to finish a stage, another chef, Chef Noir, will appear and start running around. And chef Noir, if he reaches the cage, will free all the food in it, and you have to go catch it again. Oh, actually, it looks like one definition of sapient can be wise. So the food is more sapient than before. I'll agree with Definitely that. Definitely more. They're wise enough to leave before they can be cooked. Uh, one of the things that makes this really kind of grotesque to control is uh, your net is much shorter than it appears on screen. You kind yeah. of have lagoon knife syndrome with the net. Yeah, except that the knife actually looks short in lagoon. <laughs> yeah. There we go, Salmon Buffalo opening the door into the portal. You're free, JK, back into the fridge. I'm glad that Switzerland is contained entirely within one's fridge. I think Chef Pierre just has a portal to the rest of the world in his fridge. I mean, but that's cool. 
this game, it looks charming. It looks like it functions pretty well. Controls are very floaty and slidey and your net is tiny. And later on, high limits get really tight. Chef Noir is a pain in the butt and you start getting food that will fight back, and you also start getting food that rots, and rotten <laughs> food can't be captured, and will seek you out and try to ruin your day. Uh, yeah. Give you the, uh, the old Montezuma's Revenge there. The game starts out seeming very simple, but it will get hard for the players. Oh my gosh. Not only that, but even if you put the food in food jail, They'll sometimes get out. I don't remember exactly when or why or how or what. Chef Noir freeing them. Uh, most stages at about the halfway point on the timer, Chef Noir will show up and start messing with you. I like Chef Noir's name, though. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks like Lupine One learned that if you uh, use the spring and bonk your head on something, that you then get dizzy. So don't do that. That's another thing. Um, you don't really have a way to die aside from running out of time, which is the biggest threat anyway, but any food you're carrying when you take damage escapes. Yep. So, you know, the strategy you would think would be get all of the food you need and take it back in one pass. That's real dangerous because uh, you kind of have Sonic Ring Syndrome, except Sonic's rings in this case are trying very hard to run away from you and move in different ways and different speeds. So recapturing them is actually really difficult. Yeah, mind you, uh, I think if you get hit, it depends on how bad the hit is, but uh, you can just have one or two food items drop out, or if you just get chained over and over again, you could be in big trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, you do see various items that the players are using. Guess what? Even the net itself that you use to collect the food, you do not start with. Uh, no, you, you have, have to, to go find the find net it. every stage, pretty much. Yep. The flower bags that Lupine One used to get the potato, you have to collect that. Uh, everything, you have you have to get everything. It's not simple. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, there are ways you can outright kill food, uh, which seems strange to say, but you can just, like, full-on destroy food, and you can destroy enough of it that you can't complete the stage. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of situations. You can put yourself in pretty bad situations in this game. Mm -hmm. Mind you, actually getting good enough where you've uh, uh, killed all of the food without dying yourself, that, that's a little hard to do, but it's it's doable. Oh no, Chef Noir on Salmon Buffalo screen. Watch yeah, out. Yeah, so we get to see the release of the potato. <laughs> Oh, there so close! So close! <laughs> you gotta close the door! You gotta close the door! <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of food escaped. I don't think Sam and Buffalo is gonna be able to complete this in time, unfortunately. I'm a little confused about where the egg went, because an egg ran out of the cage and then just disappeared? Oh. There, I guess it just teleported up here. Oh! Bad Chef! Bad Chef's coming back! You can hear when Chef Noir arrives. I think we only have audio on Chamomile's stream, but there's a there's a dramatic sting when Chef Noir shows up. I actually really like it. Ooh, yeah, let's see if we hear it on Chamomile's screen at some time. Now, how are we judging progress? I believe it's pretty linear, this game. This game's linear, I forbade warps to make it even more linear. Uh, so if a if a racer somehow finds a hidden warp, reveals it, walks to the door that is very clearly a warp and pushes up, um, that's a foul and they have to reset. So everything should be linear. Um, and we are going by stage reached and um, how much food remains to be captured in that stage. It's, you know, the number on the top left there. There is no clear indicator of what stage you're on, aside from what country you're in from the tile set, but uh, we've got our refs keeping an eye on things to count out stages for us.
do 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 Is anyone in this group in danger? So, uh, everybody in this group is in danger. <laughs> Depending on the exact placements, either only first place or first and second get to go on or make the tiebreakers. This is a 21, 22 point mix match. Boing. <laughs> uh, so Chad is pointing out, Paul S., our resident review expert, is pointing out that there's a pretty scathing review in German uh, of this game. And you know what? I can give a scathing review as well. This game kind of sucks. When I finished my match of this, I kind of wanted to go finish it, but one of the rudest things about this is there's no continues... It's a full reset to the start of the game if you game over. There is the ability to start on World 3, which I have afforded to our racers. If they reach World 3, they can start on World 3 from then on. Um, in our race, I believe I reached World 3 at the very end of the match. <laughs> so we'll see how they do. Do 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 The music at least isn't the worst. I'll give it that. It's fine. Now, you did give a pretty simple list of rules. You gave the manual as well as the game download. Uh, so that's always helpful to have some clear instructions here. The game, though, I, I think it speaks for itself. It's a collect-a-thon. You know how much I love collect-a-thons. Uh, most of the time I don't, but for some reason I speedrun one now. <laughs> Thank you, Spider yeah. Fox, for somehow being the collect-a-thon to break me. Does that, I guess that does count as a collect-a-thon. You... You collect freeing animals. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go and find the animals, and then you f you split them apart. Technically, you don't collect the animals, but it still is, like... It's a collect-a-thon. I don't care. It's a collect-a-thon. Uh, yeah, everything about that game is, like, what I shouldn't love about games, and yet I love it. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it's a spider and a fox. What's not to like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Sam and Buffalo just encountered this thing. I guess it's supposed to just be like a bacterium. Oh, yeah, it kills you. Yeah, yeah. you can just die to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it gets you, you are dead. There is no hope. You can get game over very quickly. Not only that, but when you die from it, it just takes away the life counter up at the top. Like, it's yeah, not it doesn't even like reset obvious. the stage, so if you're running out of, uh, if you're having a bad time in the stage, it doesn't even reset the stage for you. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the worst way to die. Uh, now, I want to thank our referees again for being here this whole weekend and for helping out. I know Sam and Buffalo, one of our refs here, is like, I'm ready to lose so that I can just get back to refing. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, you, yeah, Mifa is currently in the lead, but the refs for this match are Blastinus has nabbed a salad. Ooh, Redford the fruit bonus. Oh my gosh, I didn't know Redford was the fruit bonus. We've got Mendez prepared sandwiches. Not Electa thinks it's a bit late for lunch. And finally, Okami of salads. <laughs> that just works. Oh, Sam and Buffalo getting the head bonk combo off of the spring. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the yeah, hidden we... spring sending you into the ceiling and then you lose all your food. It has been so long since we've had the Okami of salads. Great to have you here. Well, uh, Sam and Buffalo is never getting that one up now. Yep. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Those never come back. <laughs> yeah. Disappearing platforms are very disappearing in this game. The music's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm reassuring myself that it's fine and that I'm not going to go mad watching this game, Tristan. Camille no kind of got comboed in the corner. Um, she 
took damage me. over there. The food escaped, and some of the food was capable of attacking her, so she just took multiple hits and got stunned for, I don't know, about 10 seconds. Mipha oh, is on is the open. level that ruined me. This is the level that made me lose um, the Kusagrani match that I played in against you. Simply put, uh, ice physics in a game that already has floaty physics, not good. Yeah, I remember this now. The It is slidey, and it... You, I, I remember describing this game as already having ice physics, like, you're right, and then you add ice physics on top of ice physics, and uh, then you have to climb this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively apologize to the players. Uh... <laughs> Mifa saying, what are these hitboxes? And the heck is the mid-air movement? And that is the right way to feel about literally everything in this game. It is not only that, but this level has the murderous bacterium, whatever it is. What does the manual call them? Viruses, I think. Viruses. Those are really big viruses. Camomile exclaims in match chat, everywhere is ice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just wait till you get to the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, the manual has the fruit bonus listed. Oh my gosh. Like just the fact that there's a whole section dedicated to the fruit bonus, that makes me happy. Like look at this. It's it's if I can click this button, there that is not the button I want to click. Oh my god. <laughs> Jump scare. What was that? Nothing. It was nothing. Okay. God, I... The I'm just thinking about... The fruit bonus. What... There you go. Uh, <laughs> the fruit bonus. Yeah, the fruit bonus levels occur bet in between each country. Well, that's good. This will involve Pierre collecting as much fruit as he can in the extra time added from all the levels in the country just completed. You'll first have to pull the lever on the fruit machine. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Remember the order of fruit that appears on the machine. Okay, sure, whatever. Apparently there's some slot machine thing and then you gotta collect fruit. Yeah, we'll see if we get out of Switzerland today. Yeah, um... For us, it took us a while to get out of Switzerland. I feel like it I takes didn't. a while. You, you never didn't? Okay. I don't blame you. Yeah. It takes a while to get a grasp for just the ice physics, and, <laughs> and just when you've gotten a grasp of it, you get the double ice. So everyone is trying to get up here. Uh, we currently have what is effectively a four-way tie, and everyone has reached the ice. Yeah, and... we'll be here for a little while at least. Yeah, and if anyone captured one food, they would take the lead, but also there's no real point in doing that right now. We're only 15 minutes in. The cage is all the way at the top, though. Capturing one food requires them yeah. to actually do the platforming in this. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is this is hell, okay? This is bad. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not just bad, Tristan. This is like... One of the worst games that I've played in Cusa Grande. I'm very willing to say that this game is very bad. And uh, I, I don't know why they thought the level that everybody is on was acceptable, but somebody gave it the thumbs up. And so I blame management. It's always Can management. Getting a reminder of the existence of the time limit. Salmon Buffalo is on his last life. So we might see our first game overs here. I can't go that way. So th the manual says about Switzerland, this first area here. Ah, th just smell that fresh snow and alpine air. You had butter make sure Pierre is prepared for a frozen food fight. Yeah, I don't care. You know, a game, you know that a game is bad when it starts off with ice levels. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Sam and Buffalo was trying to like do a rap jump around this platform, and I'm not entirely sure that's possible. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, we have a game over for uh, Mifa. Yep. I'm not surprised. We'll be seeing a few of those. Do, 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 do. So there are luckily some hints in the game to help you out or in the manual to help out. And you did give the manual. Luckily, we've got uh, stuff like try a jump or a move when you use a spring. <laughs> try a move, Tristan. <laughs> to give yourself an extra fling. Oh, it rhymes. Okay. A tune will play to announce an arrival, so deal with it quickly to ensure your survival. Okay, that's stupid. Just say music, like, oh no, bad guy. And well, you could put to... rival instead of arrival because he is a rival chef. That'll make more sense. They have to do the whole rhyming thing, which they do in every one of those points except the last one for some reason. They could have used rival. Oh my gosh, okay. Sure, whatever. Sam and Buffalo uh, is game over and has received a rating of pot wash. If shooting upwards is what you require, use a spring to help you fire. To cross the gap that seems so wide, try two moves together to reach the other side. Whoa, chamomile! Got some things in the cage. The door is open. Can you get there before... Yes! Yes, okay. Oh my gosh. So chamomile takes the lead. There's hope. If Pierre is going off his cart, a leap of faith might be very <laughs> smart. I do. It literally recommends doing blind jumps. This is I, the manual, chat. I can't read what Chamomile just said in chat. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> literally cannot say that on stream. <laughs> Let's just say Chamomile did not like the previous level. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. We allow competitors to swear in Discord. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it's a pro strategy to stop playing the game for a second and to complain about it. Yeah? Yeah. In fact, sometimes you... highly recommended sometimes. It's at least entertaining, but also, yes, being able to just like... I have no idea what just happened to, um, to Chamomile there, but... She game over on the eighth stage. That's first place for now. Good job. Everybody else has made it to stage seven and I believe have not collected any food. So that means that it'll go based off of the order that the players have made it there. Currently Mifa in second place behind Chamomile Teacup, Sam and Buffalo in third, and Lupine one in fourth. But it's all within a matter of a couple minutes. Whoever beats level seven uh, first out of that group will be moving into second. Or heck, just collect a freaking potato. I don't care. I don't care if you beat it. So the, the cage is up on top of all that garbage is the the main reason everyone is tied at zero captured foods on stage seven. They're all trying to climb that to, you know, capture anything. Oh yeah, I remember now, in the post-match interview, or if we even did that, I, at some point when I was talking about this game after the race I had of it, I described this as having ice physics in the air. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel right. It, it's not right, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of the worst air control that I can think of, you've got Scunny back to the woods that one like the air control is very bad because it just if you hit the other direction it flips your uh, velocity and if you keep pushing in that direction your velocity accelerates and then if you push in the other direction it just flips your velocity it doesn't lower it and so if you keep pushing in that direction you go faster every time that you try to turn around in the air you go faster and faster and faster in the other direction until you're going way too fast a scunny you can... is a nightmare 
you can do that in cool spot and you can get going so fast that you start clipping through walls and uh it's kind of neat because you have to go out of your way to exploit a glitch to do that not it just happens <laughs> yeah that's cool like it's cool if it's if like you have to work to to, to earn something like that but if it's how the game normally plays and it makes the game unplayable then you shouldn't release the game yet please <laughs> okay delay i'm sorry scunny but nobody is waiting for that march 13th release okay we can handle another week without scunny it's fine that brings up an interesting point someone uh one of the racers called out when we were setting up According to the credits, this game has more playtesters than developers. <laughs> yeah, if only management listened to the playtesters. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We have people in the community who do playtesting or did playtesting for video games, and let me tell you, the games that some of them have worked on have not been great, and they're like, I know about those problems. I told them about those problems. Yeah. Management said no. They just won't fix it. Yeah. Been there. Yep. <laughs> uh, and because of that, like, I I have gotten to the point where I really uh, think that most of the flaws are management problems uh, rather than the developers. If there were better management than uh, some of the main glaring issues that you see can be fixed. You know what? It's not hard to make a platformer that has decent physics. You'd think it's hard because of how many bad platformers there are, but it's not that hard. I've done it. Okay? And I don't... I barely know how to program, and I can do it. It was a little harder when you were doing things in assembly, but... Well, uh... Okay, fine. <laughs> Even modern games struggle with it, though. Plantness did it fine. <laughs> okay, the game that... had other problems, but the actual platforming physics were fine. It moved at one frame per second. That's yeah, fine. It, it's a really it high-quality frame every second. It was a tactical platformer. You do not... Like, it moves so slow, it was tactics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, fascinating genre, if that actually existed. But, uh, yeah, Lost in Plantinus is not normal by any <laughs> means. Anything that That's you can call good, good in that game is uh, probably accidental. <laughs> But that, it was made by a teenager. Who cares? Teenagers, yeah. go ahead and make any crap that you want, and I will love it, okay? I mean, we had an entire hour-long block of a developer who made a successful game showing off stuff they made before that, and yeah, there's a there's a progression you have to go through to you know, make mistakes and learn from them. Yeah, if you are an indie dev and you're making your own stuff, even if you're releasing it for money, I'm I'm fine. I want to support you, you know? If you're releasing stuff for free, I might complain about issues, but I will still love you. However, if you're releasing a game that's going to be 60 bucks like this freaking game, which probably was fairly pricey at release, and it controls like this, I've got some issues. I've got some problems. You need... You, you need to deal with it. Okay, don't just shove it out the door. Again, nobody is waiting for out for lunch to get... May, maybe, like, one food enthusiast, okay? And they can wait. They'll buy it anyway. Well, Everybody this was else... the era where if you got, like, Nintendo Power or a magazine like that, you would get a pre-release, like, teaser in a full-page spread of a game that's coming, and people would get excited for... What's coming? This, I don't think, ever got anything like that. Yeah. And if you delayed it, the one person who was excited about it is gonna maybe be disappointed. They're still gonna get it, though. It's not, it's not like, you're not lining it up with a movie release. At least I hope this isn't related to any movie out there. Because if well, so, I'm gonna boycott movie that movie. Even be like 
just people going out to lunch. Oh no, Salmon Buffalo got the virus! Oh, the virus got food. That's not good. Uh, if yeah, the virus gets food and then food bad. gets you... Yeah, bad cheese. They will eventually turn back, but uh, it, it's not a good state of affairs to have your cheese get virused. Maxed out, thank you for the raid, the by the way. This time. What's that? Oh, just thank you for the raid, Maxed out. Salmon Buffalo, can you get it, or are the physics too bad? Oh, you somehow got it. Yeah, that worked. Oh, no, think... virus. No. <laughs> yeah. That thing was camping the teleporter. We have Mifa back on this. <laughs> the, the ice climb. Unfortunately, there's a potato here and it's kind of in the way. No, Salmon Buffalo, no! Uh, that's not good. Yeah, you never want a virus between you and your food. No. <laughs> Especially not one big enough to actually get into a fist fight with. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure viruses in general they do less absorbing people and more infiltrating people you know it, it's this is like the opposite of a virus this is bizarro virus oh me Mi almost got up to that platform by jumping right around the um edge of it it's not necessarily the intended way to do it but if it works it works and there we yeah. go mifa did it i think that that's the way that i finally managed to do it uh, on the right side and chamomile doing it as well very nice now mifa just has to find the exit chamomile already knows where it is yep mifa though solid second place at this point mifa could yeah. potentially move into first depending on how she does on these next levels chamomile, so did chamomile not didn't manage to capture anything um they're neck and neck though so it's tied between mifa and chamomile for first and second salmon buffalo and lupine one for third and fourth the tiebreaker would go to chamomile for first, Salmon Buffalo wins the tiebreaker between him and Lupine One. Yeah, we just need to see who does what here, pretty much. They're they're neck and neck with each other. There is ice up here, and there's also like what I think is supposed to be a ski lift, but I don't know. How much Everyone lifting loves going ice, on? Here? Right? No. No, you have to wait until at least World 4 to have ice physics. That's the rule. Cooking would be a lot cooler if you could punch the salmonella out of chicken, I suppose. <laughs> Except it would punch back. Oh, uh, no, yeah. Honestly, though, if you're gonna die by salmonella, might as well be through fist fighting it. <laughs> If you're gonna go down, you might as well go down to fisticuffs with a virus. Haha! -ha. Isn't salmonella a bacteria? Yeah, but these are viruses. Oh. Well, I'm getting all confused. I don't know. I don't. Apparently, I, I don't know virus. I think whoever eh. named things in this game was confused too. Oh no, the potato! Help the potato! <laughs> Hey, snowshoes. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Except this is a, an ice platform and getting up there is oh, difficult. There we go. I think it and does call it bacteria in the manual. I found it. Normal ah, food okay. will try and avoid Pierre as much as possible, while food bitten by insects or infected by bacteria will try to attack. Wait, so if a bug bites food, the food tries to kill you? Yes. That's stupid. <laughs> Just shoo it away. Go away, bug. Okay, Amifia has discovered you can destroy the viruses, or the bacteria, I guess, but also you can destroy food the same way. And I saw her do that, and I hope it didn't render this level unbeatable for her. She destroyed at least one... one food, we'll how, call it. How do you destroy the bacteria? You just stun it and then jump on it a lot. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Mifa was one food no, short. No, Camomile, oh. the double, double bacteria. 
Yeah, getting combo vid videoed by the bacteria is not fun. Mifa is gonna move on to the next stage, though. I believe... Oh, she's down to 40 seconds to find the exit. She doesn't know where it is. Where's the exit? It's up at the top. Okay, chamomile... Is that the fruit bonus? We talked about this! The lore! The lore! The legend is true! Oh, Mifa found the exit. There we go! Come okay, on. so we have two people out of Switzerland, at least. Yes! The fruit bonus! Everybody, I told you it was true. Oh, triple lemon. It, that means question marks? What does that do? I don't know. Oh, you get to do it again. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I don't know what the question mark does for you, actually. The manual doesn't tell you. That's great. Well, we're moving on to Greece, as the manual describes here. Get ready. Oil bet Pierre is in for a hard time in Athens. Don't let him slip up. Oh, <laughs> Greece. <laughs> oh, Mifa's life count. I think Mifa got a ton of score and lives out of that slot oh. machine. Oh, that's oh, extremely that makes me feel bad, actually. helpful. I don't want this to come down to RNG. <laughs> Hey, I mean, that's part of bad games. Sometimes RNG does it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Amazing Grace. There are some uh, little things that they have to do that is very much based on randomness. And the thing is, like, if you get bad luck in that, you just have to keep trying. If you get good luck, fantastic. But the people who end up giving up are usually the ones who lose on those. Uh, it but not necessarily it, it's just part of the game but with that said the fruit bonus more powerful than i could have possibly imagined but Absolutely. grease gets very hard yeah grease gets hard grease is also the barrier to the one checkpoint in the game when you finish grease you reach uh the west indies and the west indies is where you start if you select the advanced mode at the title screen so I told the racers, if you reach the West Indies, you can start using advanced mode. Cool. Is advanced mode just like go forward mode, like I'm advancing? It literally is the exact same game. It just starts you at the West Indies instead of Switzerland. Yeah. It's always does different. So another terribly named thing. Who even made this game? I'm sure I've looked at this before, but I don't remember. Out to lunch. Oh, I suppose the full title is Pierre Le Chef is dot 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 out to lunch. My apologies. It's made by Mindscape. Uh, yeah, it's made by Mindscape. Uh, Mindscape, they made some games. Some good, some bad. Yeah, they made Kookabonga. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that that is something that has not aged super well. It doesn't sound like it. I think it's just because there's a monkey. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Chamomile is trying to capture this flying virus that is <laughs> unhappy. Oh my gosh. There's so much attacking Mifa. Mifa just died. Oh no. Yeah, the bacteria... The, the viruses... The... The contaminants, the bugs, you don't want any of that crap. This music is too stressful. Uh, but yeah, I've that, watched that... enough Kitchen Nightmares to know it's probably fine, maybe. It's rotten! That's what he would say. So on one side, we don't have ice physics anymore, at least not the double ice physics. Uh, on the other... The bacteria in this world flies and can come at you in two dimensions instead of just one. <laughs> the game just made a weird noise at me and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, the game. Yeah, when you get a game over, it just like vomits at you. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. Sounds about right. Yeah, the person who worked on the audio for this game, by the way, has done basically 
a lot of the audio design as well as audio lead for the Dirt series, the F1 series grid. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sim Theme Park, how about that? Mifa has a problem, and that problem is all of the food is in this one spot. We're capturing it without getting hit is difficult, but she seems to be working it out. Oh, and also the music and sound effects for Mario's Time Machine. So, yeah, we. I, I would say that maybe this audio person started out on a bit of, of a rough note, you know. Alfred Chicken, Mario's Time Machine, Pierre Le Chef is out to lunch, and then managed to get a really good gig working on racing games. I think Mifa might have this stage complete if she's able to... Nope. She bonked on the ceiling. Uh, it's always the bonk. <laughs> well, there's this giant spring here, and it's like, well, what is this for? Well, oh, the tomato's mad. <laughs> Don't want mad tomatoes. Yeah, you can't you can't capture the tomato while it's evil. Angie. Or angie. There we go. Yeah. So Mifa could at least set a watermark for capture here if she's quick about it, but I don't think she's gonna finish the stage. Three seconds. Nope. <laughs> yep, that is unfortunately a death. No high watermark for the cages. Or for caged food shouldn't you just put it in a refrigerator do you see a fridge anywhere here this is ancient greece they didn't they had <laughs> nothing said it was ancient it's called greece do you think this is ancient switzerland like look at those cabins <laughs> i was going roughly by the stone columns and the <laughs> lack of refrigerators oh okay yeah actually the lack of any electronics whatsoever in any of these levels that could make these ancient like at least the 1800s so yeah mm. looking at the current lead it looks like mifa has captured one food on Greece, uh, level two. Chamomile teacup made it to level two, but captured no food. Therefore, she is in second. In third, we have Lupine One, who made it to level eight, actually. Salmon Buffalo still has not passed nightmare level seven, the level that undid me as a player. Why did I even play in Cusa Grande? My gosh. <laughs> I, I kind of want to again, though. Like, I I unironically love doing it, but while I'm playing a game like this, I, I'm just full of so much hate. I don't know. I find... If I go into something expecting it to be frustrating, I, I have my defenses up and I'm ready for it. The What gets me is when I'm not expecting a problem and I have a problem and then it's just like why am I having a problem there shouldn't be a problem here and then I get salty I gotta <laughs> you know prepare myself mentally for this <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence <laughs> I have to prepare myself but then I'm fine with it salmon buffalo keeps trying to go to the left on these slippery platforms but jumping to the right by the cabin is definitely the easiest way to do it yeah, this is where the hint refers to doing two moves in a row. And I think if you jump and then like attack with your net, you actually get a little more distance. But uh, it's definitely much easier to go right as we've seen from Chamomile and Mifa. Yep. Mifa's down to one food to capture uh, on this grease stage and is some and has managed to use all of her lives to do this. It's been a very rough stage, but she doesn't have very long to lead. find the exit. She has all the food she needs, but where's the door? Mm -hmm. Pierre, I believe the door is down one of these um, side paths. It's probably the right one. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, what? Where Pierre, where's the door? Where's your freaking door? Where'd it go? 
There it is. Oh, okay. Buy the tomato. Hi, tomato. <laughs> Just okay. taking the tomato with her. Good. You earned that <laughs> tomato, Mifa. You can with keep me. it. There we go. Grease three. Mifa is in a commanding lead at this point. Uh, honestly, this may be as far as we see, but not guaranteed. We may see other people get to Grease. Mifa will probably get a game over on this level, is what I would guess. Yeah, we're getting close to the point where if someone game overs at their their high point, their personal best, it would be reasonable for them to say they couldn't reach this again. But I think I think we have one more attempt in everybody. Oh, yeah. Also, I want you to know that these players are good. They made it all the way to round four. They have played many platformers before. The number of times that you see people miss jumps in this that's not because they're bad. That's because this game is freaking the worst. Yeah, me describing this as double ice physics is not an embellishment. It is, it is very slippery. And your net is very small, and you pretty much have to skate into enemies while netting them to actually be able to get them. Yeah, there are some people who enjoy this game, and for them, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. They can enjoy it. You know, there are some games that maybe I'll say you're objectively wrong for enjoying. I can understand some people having fun with this. Uh, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> God, when you, when you kill a bacteria, it just, like, sprays goo all over the place, and it's so nasty to I me. Mean, I mean, what else is in bacteria? Just... Like, there's a nucleus. It might have some, like, DNA in there. Probably some ribosomes. You know, those are cool. But what else is it going to have? Just mostly goop. Look, for the most part, I want to stay very far away from anything that's spraying his DNA all over the place. Oh, there might not be a nucleus in bacteria. Is there going to be DNA, though? There's got to be at least DNA. There m uh, depending RNA. on the bacteria, there RNA, like viruses usually have RNA mm. uh, and mutate a lot faster. I believe DNA is bacteria, but maybe not all bacteria. Mifa is looking like uh, she might be able to finish this stage. She's got to find the door. Look. When I go. was studying cells, I was studying my body. I wasn't studying stupid little bacteria. I guess I did study back and whatever. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a degree in English. <laughs> I got two of them. Here I am running Cusa Grande. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this wow. is the only place this could have gone and we all we're all happy for it. Yeah. Oh, am I overqualified or underqualified? Mifa almost had a bacteria just drop on her with no warning, only because she stopped walking to look at a spring and see where it was going. Did she dodge it? Oh no! The eggs! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mifa's trapped in this hole with these, like, rotten eggs. Oh. So if the egg... If a rotten egg hits her... She dies, and it's her last life. So that was very terrifying. Oh, so for those wondering about the nucleus or not, bacteria do not have nuclei. They instead have a nuclear region. Yeah, that's right. Just an area where all the stuff hangs out. They're like, hey, hey, boys. This kind of loosely floats around in this area. Yeah, in the cytoplasm. Yeah. This is terrifying. Mifa's down to her last life, and there are bacteria and rotten food everywhere in this stage. Oh no! The I'm not sure what that food is attacking Mifa, but it's angry and it's dropping missiles. I think it's an eggplant? Why does the eggplant fly? <laughs> I don't like it. I do think this stage is where... No! Oh, nope, it's over. <laughs> Didn't even get to call it. 
I immediately dropped the commentary's, uh, commentary's curse. Chef to party. I didn't, Mifa saying, I didn't notice him. Yeah, he, the bacteria was just chilling out behind the pillar and j jumped out. That is very good for first place for the moment, though. I don't see anyone in the player chat saying that they're having fun, by the no. way. <laughs> and that's absolutely the truth here. This game, oh, chamomile, there we go. Mifa was very curious about this game based on the attract mode and just the info that you're able to get before the match starts. And I'm very curious if she's still interested in it at this point. Yeah, I'm interested in throwing it in the dump. <laughs> I don't pollute, but, you know, might make an exception for this game. <laughs> Nah, nah, it can go on a shelf somewhere. It can be decoration. You Lupine could, you could even put a good a mild, game inside the cart. Was having a mild issue where he needed to drop down and capture a potato, but was being ledge guarded by a bacterium. Fortunately, oh. the bacterium lost interest and wandered off. Now I will say Smartball is in chat saying, I speed run this and I find it fun. And yeah, let me just fine. say, good job, Smart Ball. You find a lot of dumb things fun. <laughs> Why am I like this today, Tristan? Is today my evil day? I think I'm evil today. Evil Brosinchi is fine once in a while as a treat. <sighs> yeah, the first I just... I, I, I burned Okami throughout the entire race that Okami was playing. Second, now I'm burning Smart Ball. Maybe I'm just hungry. Yeah. That's entirely possible. We, we have not been making this uh, better for you between talking about food last match and then this match being entirely about some simulacrum of food, I guess, question mark, maybe. How do you feel about this mushroom? Which one? <laughs> the one that the one Mifa just... keeps jumping on? Yeah. A little chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe Mifa was just tenderizing it. Maybe. Ooh, that could be tasty. Yeah, how come we don't have stepped on mushrooms for dinner, huh? Huh, Mom? Ugh. Instead, you're making me... Healthy food. <laughs> Instead of squish mushrooms. Ugh, that, no. I mean, you could cook them in, like, potato sauce. <laughs> potato sauce. I don't know what else. I, I'm just trying to think of what we're making with all of these ingredients. We got potatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> got a tomato. Okay. So, so I, I think this two bacterium platform with, like, a cheese and a tomato wandering around on it is one of the worst things in the first world, including the ice uh, up from here. Largely mm. because those two bacterium don't move from that location. They're just always there. So there's this wall across the middle of the stage where crossing it is uh, a pretty massive gamble. Oh no, it's the stress music. Stop it. Speaking about stress though, the lupine one is on Greece. Excellent. Yeah, this is a fantastic push with two extra lives. Lupine one sort of has a chance to move up from third place. Salmon Buffalo, though, has been in my own personal hell for a long time, and uh, I cry. I cry every There's... time I see this level. I have absolutely no blame for Salmon Buffalo. This is where we both got stuck for, like, a long time. And I think you finished here, didn't you? I might have gotten to the level after this, but I didn't get out of Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah, I spent the large majority of my time in this level because I hate it. Well, I didn't spend it here because I hated it. I, I hated it because I spent so much time here. <laughs> Chamomile teacup is Yeah, done. I think that's it for Chamomile. I don't think she can get... 
much further than that in the time we have left. And that is fine. Not even a high score. What a slap in the face game. Who designed this? She's going to try. It's entirely possible, but uh, I... We will see. Lupine 1 could move up into second or even first here. And that's a pretty important line. Second is where you have a chance of being safe in the tiebreaker, at least. Ah, good. The executive producer for the Catwoman game on PS2 is one of the main designers for this game. Thank you. No, no. I was looking at that to give out and concluded it was too nonlinear. <laughs> Steve Hutchins also helped with this. Steve, what did you do that I can make fun of you for, huh? Salmon made it to stage eight. Nights into Dreams? That's actually a good game. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna say that Steve, like Richard just bossed you around, Steve. You were both credited as producers, but I feel like we're giving more of it to uh, Richard. Look, Richard, you were the producer for Black and White on Windows. I played the crap out of that when I was young, okay? The only thing I know about Black and White is if you scold the monster the first time it poops, it'll never poop again. Look, my dad was fine with me playing Diablo, but was worried about me playing Black and White. <laughs> He's like, it's a god simulator. It's like, oh, okay, I guess I can see the naked ladies in Diablo. Well, maybe he knew I was gay, you know? It was just like, <laughs> at least there are the naked ladies here to help. <laughs> a ref say that if Lupine 1 deposits a single food, that's good enough for second place. Lupine has deposited a single food, oh, indeed. Oh, you're right. Yeah. They are in second place, then. They are, yes. I was a little late on that. So Lupine takes second. That should be enough to barely skate into tiebreakers. We've got, what, five and a half minutes left? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so first place will move into, uh, into the bracket. Second place will either make it to the tiebreaker or be eliminated, depending if they have 21 points they will not have enough to move on. So Lupine, how much do you have? Lupine won. Oh, Salmon Buffalo is the one that would need to take first for sure. The others taking second would get them to the tiebreaker. Yeah, and I'm thinking, seeing that everyone is still on Switzerland aside from Lupine one, I'm thinking our placements are pretty well set for first, uh, for at least first in, uh, or I'm sorry, for third and fourth. Lupine one might still put in enough progress to take first first maybe that cage door's open you gotta close it oh door's closed okay we're yep. door to the right i think you'll be able to find it pretty quickly mm -hmm. very smart movement there uh not falling all the way down because that would be a huge time waster there we go lupine one moving on to the next level this is almost a oh my gosh this is great so this on the level is three stage this is stage three. Mifa started stage four, but didn't deposit anything. So Lupine One has about four minutes to beat this stage. <gasps> Salmon and Buffalo then... is in the fruit bonus. Oh, baby. Lupine One has about four minutes to finish this stage and do a single deposit on the next stage to take first place. It's possible. Lupine One has been playing in Cusa Grande for a very long time, and I would be super happy to see Lupine One make it, like, to the bracket. Getting to the tiebreakers would be great, but making it to the bracket, I would be so thrilled. I think tiebreaker, at least, is pretty clinched for Lupine One. We're, the main debate is, can he take first and just get into brackets whole cloth? Yeah, Salmon Buffalo with just like three-ish minutes left, Salmon Buffalo could potentially move out of last, but would need to move into first for any chance to move into the bracket. 
I'm just glad to see all four of our racers escape Switzerland. I was not sure that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get out of Switzerland. <laughs> As it turns out, this game is kind of hard, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, if I recommend that you play it so that you can't get it in Cusa Grande, unironically. Uh, also, it'll give you good experience with uh, very terrible platforming physics. Like, if you can get good at this, you can get good at anything. Oh man, Lupine won't just spent several attempts to try to get onto this platform on the right just to have the tomato he was after jump off as soon as he reached it. Are you oh, stupid tomatoes? Okay, Salmon Buffalo, enough food to move on to stage two. Oh my gosh. Where's the door? Where's the door, Salmon? Mifa has tapped out and is mostly playing with the ice physics, which I don't blame her. She can't get back to where she was in time at this point. I don't know where the door is. I don't think Camille can get back to her high mark either, so it's mostly down to Salmon Buffalo and Lupine 1 at this point. Yeah, Lupine 1 still on level 3, no extra lives. If Lupine 1 dies, then that is uh, no chance to move into first, but still very likely to go to the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Salmon Buffalo only has one extra life, and this level is full of bacteria. Gotta watch out. Gotta stay healthy. Wash your hands, chef. Oh, watch out. Oh, there, Angie bubble thing. Don't like it. Lupine One has 25 seconds left on this stage and is... He picked up uh, an invincibility apron and I think the flashing actually makes your controls worse. I don't know how that works, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. <laughs> I mean, I, I can believe that, but where's the exit? Nope, too bad. That is gonna be a game over. I think that's oh. the end of the match as far as placement changes. I believe so, but let's keep watching Sam and Buffalo because there is a chance for a new PB, depending on how he does here. Uh, he... Did he... I think he actually passed one of our players, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chamomile Teacup, and moved into third place. Amazing oh, right. effort there by Sam and Buffalo in the very last stretch, moving out of last. Not going to affect who makes it into the tournament or not, but it will affect bragging rights slash being able to say that you uh, uh, you captured a potato. Good job. You like potatoes? You got a potato. That is time, everybody. Out to lunch for Super Nintendo. Uh, this game is a nightmare, and let's invite our winner in, because our winner is very definitely Mifa Rivia, with Lupine 1 taking second and qualifying for the tiebreaker. The other players unfortunately eliminated. Sorry, Chamomile Teacup and Salmon Buffalo. Amazing effort, but not quite enough to stay in. That's how tournaments go. You gotta start eliminating people, and honestly, it's freedom. Freedom from all of the terror that we have here. <laughs> Let me see if Mifo wants to come and chat. I don't think she believes she won. Hello there, Mifa. Congratulations. You are our winner today. N no, no, I'm not. I didn't win. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I know nobody wins when they play out to lunch. This game is really, really bad. Uh, but yeah, what? you look, you made it to level four in Greece. Uh, the closest that we had Lupine one right behind you made it to level three in Greece. Yeah, you definitely are the winner. Lupine one technically could have stolen away from you, but no, uh, like you just happen to have the best attempt. Now I know I was watching your misery on the second to last Switzerland level, and that's the level that uh, I absolutely hate and it's the worst. But uh, once 
you got past that. You had an excellent push. And the fruit bonus, let me tell you, I think that really helped you towards the end when you were making your push through Greece because you got so many Wait. extra lives. That was a bonus stage? Yeah, you, it was you called scored two bonus. extra lives from the slot machine, and I think that made the difference. Oh, jeez. It was literally called the fruit bonus. As shown I didn't know on it's... screen. Fruit bonus. Yes, I, I understand the slot machine. I didn't understand the side scroller that happened out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, the like five second side scroller. Why the crap is it so short? I don't understand. I don't know if that was shorter than that or the demos. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, yeah, all of the players made fantastic pushes. Like, it, it came very close. Like, between Salmon, Buffalo, Chamomile Teacup, uh, and Lupine One, like, about a level apart uh, between Lupine One and Chamomile Teacup. Everything, like, everybody was super close. I, I'm amazed everybody made it to Greece. I didn't make it there when I raced this. I played this in Cusa Grande, Mifa. Yeah, uh, I uh, made it. Okay. <laughs> it's bad. But uh, now I have one question. Yeah? I gotta see if this runs in Z-SNES. Uh, okay. I mean, <laughs> I am curious what the sound would be like. Sure. A smart ball, by the way, is in chat, is a speedrunner of the game, and is clarifying that in order to keep the auto-scroller going, you just gotta push the cart forwards, and then you can collect more fruit, and there's a one-up at the end, but you got enough one-ups from other stuff, I think from all the lemons, uh, that it ended up being just fine. Uh, yeah, oh. so Mifa, you say that this game is bad, what's the worst part of it? Tell me. Share. The controls. The controls are atrocious. Okay, what do you mean? Left is left and right is right, right? How could that be messed up? It... Just when you think you get a grasp on the controls, the mid-air controls just feel so wonky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, everything feels like it's ice physics, and then you get to the actual ice. Ooh, boy. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a nightmare at that point. You don't want to deal with it. Oh, God. z -snaz. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. Well, this sounds like something that I'll need to hear sometime. Do you... Are you still streaming? Technically, yes, I am. <laughs> let me... Let me grab game capture and audio real quick, then. Okay. Hey, everybody, we got a little bonus for you. We're going to see what this sounds like. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, where... Get my stuff open again. Audio. Where is the audio? Yeah, same. Where is the audio? There. I should be ready for you whenever audio comes through. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> There's the audio. Where's the screen? I don't think we need to see the screen. We hear the audio. <laughs> so bad. I'm not sure I like it any less than... Okay, I like this part less. <laughs> yeah. Let me it's... actually see if I can get some movement in this game for a second. Yeah, I don't see it, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing up. I gotta grab. Maybe I gotta do a window capture. That's it's, right. It's Z-SNES. Fine. Not a huge deal. Like, this is just. There's no. Icing on the cake. There we go. Ugh. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is something else. Wow. It doesn't the look any noise less still... playable, though, somehow. No, it it feels the same. Just yeah. a lovely sound effect. Oh my gosh! Oh! 
Well, everybody, we've enjoyed this infiltration of the bacteria when it comes to this game. Uh, luckily, no death to be had, only the sound of pain. The sound of whatever this is. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's go ahead and just have a little fade out, everybody. We've got out to lunch for your pleasure. <laughs> I didn't expect this to just like destroy you so badly. I'm losing <sighs> my freaking mind. I think it's more playable in Seasness, in my opinion. Oh no. <laughs> Well, if you have enjoyed Cusa Grande, we try to do it every week, and I will be traveling next Sunday, but Saturday we should have Cusa Grande, so feel free to come on back 2 p.m. Eastern. On Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we have Don't Make Us Bored, where sometimes you see shenanigans like what Mifa is doing right now with this game. Other than that, I think that's the end of the stream. Let's find a raid target. Uh, Mifa, do you have anything that you'd like to plug before we disappear? Uh, I just streamed nightly around midnight central time. Come on over. Sweet. For shenanigans. Nine central, was it? Midnight. Oh, midnight central. Ah, that's 11 p.m. for me. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, feel free to bother Mifa later on. I'm just trying to look for a raid target for somebody we can bother. We've got a Zelda 2 grind actually happening right now, and it's a very small stream. Lap Mackie is amazing, so let's go raid over there. Jaxie, did you miss anything? Absolutely not. We're raiding somebody. Uh, and then let's just say lasagna. That's our raid message. Lasagna. Lasagna. Go share lasagna love with Lap Mackie. Take care. Thank you so much, Mifa. Have a good one, everyone. Thank Much you, love. Tristan. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>